Well, welcome back, friends. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. The New Year's is upon us, and today we're cooking Hoppin' John. So Hoppin' John is a traditional kind of southern uh, kind of messy rice. Uh, it was originally kind of brought over and kind of perfected uh, via the slave trade and it is a staple uh, in, in the Carolinas. A lot of people eat it on New Year's because it kind of has all of the characteristics of uh, kind of traditional southern folklore. You know, we have the peas for good luck. And then we have some of the green textures in there that is supposed to encourage wealth in the next year. And growing up, like we kind of had all this separate, just kind of like a traditional Southern meal, like where you would have, we would actually use chicky bacon for the meat. Then we'd have collard greens on the side. We'll have some black eyed peas, but this is kind of a wonderful, beautiful dish because it incorporates kind of all of those into, into one pot. So let's go over some of these ingredients. So we start off, I've got some onions that I, you know, peeled and did a, kind of a medium dice on, medium small dice. Have a bell pepper. Um, it's probably about two thirds to a half of a bell pepper. Also uh, medium diced. We've got some celery here that's a little bit thicker. You don't want it to cook down too much. We've got some bacon. Uh, it's about, ooh, it's about five strips of bacon that I've just kind of cut up. We've got some kale. Traditionally it would be collards, but I don't, we didn't have any collards in the, in the garden this year. We only had kale, so we're gonna substitute for kale, but you can definitely use collards if that's your preferred. We've got a cup of rice. We've got a cup of purple hole, black eyed peas. Uh, we've got about three or four cups of chicken stock and all the spices and aromatics. We've got some salt. We've got some pepper, smoked paprika, crushed red pepper, just regular paprika, uh, diced red jalapeno, about four cups of garlic, and then we've got thyme and, and, and bay leaf over here. So let's get set up and let's get cooking. Okay, so we're all set up. So we're gonna start off with our bacon. We'll just kind of break it apart in here. Okay, so our bacon's done. We're gonna pull it out of the pan, but we're gonna leave all of that bacon fat down there, that grease. That's what we're gonna to use to cook and increase the flavor of the dish as we as we go. Just building layers and layers, baby. Okay, we got the eye back on. We're gonna go in with our peppers and our onions. We're gonna use these peppers and onions to kind of pull up this fawn on the bottom of the pan. And we're just gonna cook them until they're semi-translucent. Next, we're gonna go in with some of our hot peppers. And we're gonna add our celery in. And so we're gonna let this cook for just a, a minute or two. Uh, we don't want to overcook the celery because it's going to be in boiling water for probably about 30 minutes. So, then we'll go in with our garlic. I'm just going to cook the garlic just until it becomes fragrant. Uh, you don't want to, it's easy to burn garlic, so just don't want to burn it. Now it's time to start adding some of our spices. Okay. Salt. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with our pepper, our smoked paprika, our regular paprika, and our chili flakes. We're just gonna cook these until they bloom and start to, to really become fragrant. Now oh, this kitchen is smelling, it's just so amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with our cup of black eyed peas. Next time we'll go in with some chicken stock, just enough to cover the peas. 
And we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes. These peas, they're, because they're frozen, they should only take about 30 minutes to become uh, kind of your al dente. So we're gonna cook these for 10 minutes and then we'll throw our rice in, which is a 20 minute rice, and then we'll be done. Almost forgot, we gotta throw in some of our aromatics, uh, the thyme and then the bay leaf. We're getting close, so we need to rinse this rice off. So now that we have some liquid in here, I'm just going through before I add that rice, I'm just making sure that this fawn has lifted off. It always comes off a whole lot easier if you have some type of liquid, whether it be like a something like wine to deglaze with, or in this particular case, the stock that we're cooking in. So we're going with our rice. We're gonna go in the, with the rest of our stock. Going in with our cow. We're gonna go back in with our bacon. I'm just gonna stir this all up. We're gonna bring this back up to a bowl real quick. Okay, so we kinda got a little simmer going. I'm gonna put a lid on this and then we're gonna turn the heat down on. Nope. I'm gonna turn the heat down low and then we're gonna let this cook for 20 minutes uh, and then we'll get to try some. Well, she's done and she looks beautiful. So let's get this plated up. Whew. Doesn't she look good? It is just a beautiful, beautiful dish. Earlier today, made some jalapeno cornbread. Cause that's just a Southern staple as well. So let's get a little bite of this. Mm. Need a little bit more salt, but man, it's rocking. Let's get a little cornbread bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all, I want to thank you for stopping by today. Leave me down in the comments how you celebrate New Year's Day, how you ring it in, and I hope that you have just a prosperous year this upcoming year. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Cool.